going on here. Know what I did? All right, man. I think we are good to go. I'm gonna bring chat up and see you guys talk. All right, so we got a new toy for the channel. Um, actually, we got a couple. Uh, I think we are good to go. I'm gonna bring chat up. Oh, what? That. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Should have got all that stuff up ahead of time. All right, so let me get this out of the way. Um, we got a new toy for the channel. Um, I picked this up used um, because I wanted to try a rock, rock, a rock crawler out. Oh, well, first and foremost, we got another piece of the, the flight sim. And... All right, we got another piece of the flight sim. This is the switch deck. We already got the yoke and the throttles. The rudder, rudder pedals were supposed to be here today. They haven't shown up yet. Hopefully we get them before this weekend. If not, I guess it'll be next week. I'm still looking for a multi-panel and uh, what was the other piece? Multi-panel and a radio panel. So anyway, so we'll mess with this a little later. Um, but for now we got, oh, this thing is so heavy. We got a TRX-6 by Traxxas. Um, I got this bad boy used. It's got like all the light stuff on it. Um, got this roof rack. It's all scale. Let's get this off. But, let's see if I can flip this thing over. This thing is so heavy. So the guy that built this kind of, I don't know if he made a mistake, but if you look, He's got a lot of aftermarket parts on here. Um, he's got aftermarket drive shafts. Um, he's got the nice metal drive shafts. Um, let's see if I can see what brand they are. Oh, I can't see something racing. GDS, GDS Racing. Um, so we got these, um, but he's got metal portal axle hubs and he's got these brass weights. And these brass weights are like 47 grams each. So and you have six of them, and it made this uh, it made this TRX six. Oh, this guy has a lot of upgrades on this thing. Extremely heavy. He's got the magnets. He's got the ba extra battery tray, so you can carry extra battery with you. Um, but I took it out for the first time yesterday just to test it before we did something for the channel. And what I found out is that this thing is too heavy for this Tekken 45T heavy duty motor that's in here and this little ESC. So we went ahead, uh, went ahead and ordered a Hobbywing uh, 550, a Hobbywing Axe FOC 550 can motor brushless 3300 KV. And we bought, let's see if I can get this open one handed. So, and we got the ESC to go with it. So I'm hoping with this that it will run a little better. I'm hoping this motor fits. So anyway, the, today's video is gonna be installing this. So that's what we're here to do right now. Just kind of hang out with you guys and try to give this thing an install. Let me uh, move some stuff around here real quick. All right, so. Just trying to set up chats so I can see both. We're multi-streaming right now, so I'm streaming to Twitch and to uh, YouTube. Um, you know, for the guys that are gonna watch this on playback, I apologize. This is gonna be 720p, but I, I don't have a choice when I'm because I'm not Twitch affiliated yet. I can't stream 1080. Well, I can stream 1080p, but it doesn't get priority, so it makes it hard for people to watch. It lags a lot. So anyway. Um, 
And in other news, we also talked about new graphics cards coming out. We have 3090s coming out. And for those that don't know, I have right now, I have, this is my rig I'm working with. I'm going to do a walkthrough of it. Sorry, it's so dusty and dirty right now, but um, I haven't cleaned it. And it just it's literally just dust. It looks a lot dirtier than it actually is. But I have two 2080 Ti's, a 9980 Xe, uh, 18 core processor, 32 gigabytes of RAM running at 3600 megahertz, um, a 480 rad up top, and you can't really see it, but there's a 560 rad underneath, um, and all that's being run off of a 1600 watt power supply. So. Oh, you know what I should have done? Didn't record this stream. All right, well that's all right. It is what it is. Um. So anyway, so I guess we're just gonna sit here. I got a cup of coffee, and um, we're just gonna mess around and take this thing apart. And so I've never took one of these apart, so I am not sure. I kind of wasted this connector. Disappointing. I wonder if I can take this back apart. I swapped connectors on it um, the other day because I don't use Traxxas plugs on my batteries. I like these IC5 plugs. Um, but it's hard to get them right now. A lot of places keep selling out of them. Um, and I'm having a problem. Maybe if any of you RC car guys out there can help me. Um, all the lights work on the Traxxas. Except for the light bar. The light bar is really dim. Everything else works fine. So I, I don't I don't know what's causing that. I gotta mess around with it some. But uh alright, let's see how easy it's gonna be to get this motor out of here. Looks like it's just one, two, three Allen heads and maybe two to get this off. We have to Oh man, it's wired into the Ooh, the lights are wired into the ESC. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. We're going to figure that out. I have to unhook it over here. All right, so let's start disassembling this thing. What did I do with my tools? I know. All right, so let's start with... This is going to have to come off first. I wish I had my power screwdriver, so I didn't have to sit here and do all these by hand, but I do not have it right now, so we are going to be doing everything by hand. What's everyone up to? I don't know a whole lot about these TR. I, I, I really was never into rock crawling. Um, I played with RC cars back in the day, just on the street. And then about five years ago, I got into short. I don't have it up here. I was looking for my truck. I have a Techno short course truck, a 410. SCT 410.3, um, and I did a lot of clay track racing with that, and then I kind of got out of the hobby for a few years, and then COVID hit, and I got bored, and I got back into the hobby, um, and here we are, um, got the Creighton downstairs, oh, they have got grease all over this, Ugh. all right, he's got this all greased up, I guess to deal with water, he's greased it up, I know a lot of people do that, it's going to be a bit messy to deal with though. Wiring the lights back up is going to be a problem. Um, I'm not sure exactly how to wire them. I know the lights run off of this ESC, so I may have to reach out to the forum because I don't know if I can. This new ESC, I don't know if I can plug them straight into that. I don't even know what type of receivers in here, so maybe in for a surprise, put receivers in here. Okay. Praxis link. Hopefully this receiver is still going to work. Man, that's going to be a bitch to get out of there. All this is going to have to come out. Man, this thing going to be a pain in the butt to work on. It looks like everything has got to come out. Hold in. 
So it looks like the battery tray is gonna have to come out to get the wires out. May yeah, I mean probably. Um, figure out which. Finger. Scissors on this thing is super sharp. Just scrape skin off my finger. <sighs> Paralyzed hand getting in my way. I do everything one handed. It's a real pain in the butt sometimes. So let's get this wire right here. This wire right here. Boom, um, that's it. ESC. Well, we might be able to get this out without taking a lot of this apart. Shall see. And I hope the new wire is long enough. That is not going to fit out of there. Oh, there we go. Damn, we may have to do some soldering. So soldering, I can't do one-handed. So usually I have my wife help me with soldering. Soldering's a real bitch. Well, I've tried different ways to do it one-handed. I've tried using like the jigs, and uh, it never turns out very good. So it's just easier to have her help. This is gonna be pain in the ass to get done. What is that going through? Why would they stick that through there like that? Oh. Oh, this thing's gonna be a headache. They've stuck it down. It's hard for you guys to see this, but there's there's this little plastic thing that that this connector has to go through to get out, and I don't think the connector is gonna fit. I may have to pull some of this stuff out. Oh, I was hoping this was going to be fairly easy. Nothing with those RC cars is ever that easy. I don't know how they've got that in there. I mean, it's almost worth cutting the wires and just pulling it out. But I guess i got to stick the new one back through, so that's really not going to... Help much. Um, damn, what a pain in the butt. Uh, all right, so we got to have to remove this. Damn, this thing's gonna have to come all the way apart to do this, man. I was not expecting that. So we have to take the exhaust off so we can get to the screws that go to the the servo, I don't want to call it a tray, but not the servo tray, the receiver tray. Sorry guys, my arm's bothering me a little bit. This nerve pain, constant in my bad arm. It's really annoying at times. What's everyone up to? Where's everyone from? Like, chat with me, guys. I don't want to sit here and just talk to myself. Oh, come on. Really? I magnetized these the other day with a magnet, but it seems to have worn off.
was calling me. Hello? What's up? I'm streaming. What's up? Sorry about that guy's wife called. Just got off work early. Um, all right, where was I at? Oh, exhaust, okay. So, just need to get it off enough to slide it up. Uh, I don't wanna break it, let's take it all the way off. So, fall over on my computer. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Really need to go get my electric screwdriver. I didn't realize this much stuff was going to have to pull off. It's all the way out in the garage. Really don't feel like I'm going to get it. Working on my mouse pad. I'm gonna be complaining later when I stream about grit all over my mouse pad. All right, all right, that's better. Now we can get in there. It still doesn't fit. How the heck did they get that through there? Man, it's a tight squeeze. Mainly a tight squeeze because other wires going through there, but. Uh, hopefully I don't have to order another receiver. I may have to because these, these have Traxxas connectors and another thing does not. <sighs> Battery tray's gonna have to come up. Hoping to snake it through, but it doesn't look like it's gonna go. Got a lot of mud on it. I definitely spent some money on this thing. It's got upgraded. It's got an upgraded front servo, which actually I don't think is. Hopefully, the new EAC, ESC provides enough voltage because the Traxxas one did not, and the servo struggled with all the weight that's on the front. Um, that works. Oh, he's got zip tie. Ah, oh, I gotta go grab snips. Be right back. So we got the arm of Creighton all cleaned up. Let's see if we can come up a little bit. Let's see. <clears throat> we got the Creighton all cleaned up. I ordered some diff fluid and some shims for the ESC. 
Hopefully we didn't damage it too bad that first bash session. Um, I gotta go online tonight and find uh, drivers and programs to run the flight sim because apparently this Logitech stuff isn't supported yet natively in uh, the new flight simulator. Alright, that's it for now. That's good. Let's see what I need. This is a crawler, and since it really doesn't get bashed on, I think I'm just going to use double-sided tape to hold down the ESC um, if the screw holes don't line up. Um, I guess I can always go on and order a new uh, ESC uh, little platform to put it on, but I have to find one. Uh, well, this isn't too bad. It's just a plug. Oh, well, that wasn't too bad. I'll hold on to this, reuse this connector. Alright, let's see. Takes care of that. Now we need to get this motor out of here. What do I do with that tool? You'll learn real quick with me. When I, I put a tool down, I lose it every damn time. I, I worked as a mechanic for years. Um, especially when I was a roller coaster mechanic and we had to work on roller coasters. I would leave tools everywhere. Be all up on the tracks, on the steps going up the hill. Where's everyone from? Don't everyone talk at once. I know me, I'm gonna forget. I forget where all these came from, so I need to... Oh no, my, my pen's dead. This is a dry erase board. I like how I fix it tools for my computer stuff. Work really well. That tray, this is just a dry erase marker. This is a magnetic tray. You, uh, you guys can't really see it. This white thing down here is a magnetic tray and it has little squares and you write down where the parts from and they just stick to it. Um, this black one is from... I've already lost track of what I was doing. This two. figure it out. We'll get it all back. Mm, I don't, might not even undo that one. It might just be this one. I want to get new servos. Uh, I want to get some new servos for this. I got a replacement servo for the high-low. I think I want to swap these out too. Oh, man. This doesn't come out like I thought it did. I want to point out I've never taken one of these apart before, so I have no idea what I'm doing. I think maybe I've got one more. Um, pretty familiar with like some of the t tracks of stuff, the T Maxes. Wonder if we should regear this while we're at it. What do you guys think? Go with a little bit larger of a well, it's for crawling. Probably shouldn't say go with a little bit larger pinion, but let's see what size stock pinion it has. And then we gotta hope I have a similar pinion because I don't think the one that's in here is gonna fit this new motor. Oh, there she goes. 
Came right off. Well, that's fairly easy enough. Oh, no, that's a mod one pinion. Oh, he's he's got upgraded gear in here, too. Okay, so he did he upgraded that stuff, too. That's interesting. I have no idea how the hell I'm supposed to get that out. This is just... Oh, it just slides. Ah, now I get it. it slides off. So this is in C. Man, I hope the new motor will mount to this plate. I didn't even think about that. Gotta remember, guys, I'm new to the RC car thing again, so... Alright, let's start with the motor. So this is... We went with the Axe motor. Um, supposedly a great uh, crawling motor. This is a new one, though. This is 3300 kV. Um, they made a 2700 and a 2300, and this is a new 30... Uh, 3300. I figured with all the weight that's on this thing, um, that 3300 may be a little better. For some reason, this one was sold out everywhere. I had to hunt this thing down. Wow, it's a significantly larger motor. Some screws and stuff with this. It's got some long, some really long plugs on it. Sorry, guys. Opening packages one hand. Okay, so we got a new pinion, um, twelve tooth, and that's all that was in that box. And we got the new motor. Let's do a one-handed crap side by side comparison. That's the old motor. That's the new motor. I hope it fits. It's going to be a tight fit. It looks like it will. But that's significantly larger. I mean, it's a it's a bigger motor. It's about the same width, but uh, same girth, but definitely longer. Anyway, cool. I was this motor right here might be a decent motor for like a super light crawler, or because I've seen other people use this motor. But man, this thing did not want to climb anything when I tried to climb stuff yesterday. What tooth is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's an eleven tooth. I think the one it came with is twelve. But we'll, I think we'll go with the one it came with and then just go from there. Alright, let's take this thing out. This thing's very greasy. I don't know why. Um, I gotta do this. Now it's in C, so we need to try to mount it back in the same spot. You know, it slides up. I do it. That was not gonna work. Ooh. Man, I wonder if I should have got some Loctite. I didn't even think about that. I got Loctite, but it's down in the damn. The garage. Um, I'm gonna go with since this isn't a basher or a speed car, I'm gonna go with no Loctite. Probably a bad idea. I should probably go get Loctite. All right, so it's off. A little brushed bad boy. All right, let's take this in here. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a, a two minute break and go grab some Loctite. Be right back.
Sorry about that. Thought I was better prepared. Apparently not. Alright, so we got the motor out. Probably should have looked at the position that was mounted in, so I know which way to make the wires face. So. So I think I got how we want it. That's that, uh, come on. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. I think that'll work. So it may not be in the right position since we're using a different pinion. So we're just gonna test fit it before we put lock plate on it. Um, since we're going up a tooth and pinion, we may have to move it to a different letter. But, we test fit it first. Why is this not working? Test fit everything first to make sure it comes with extra set screw. Not sure the exact positioning of this yet, so we're going to put it flush. Doing everything in one hand is such a hassle. learned over the last eight years since I had my accident a lot of patience when doing stuff like this because only one hand everything that you do takes a thousand times longer all right so we'll test with this real quick I don't know if that mesh is good. That mesh looks kind of tight. Oh, well, there's a little bit of a click there. Well, that might work. I don't think it is, though. I think we're going to have to go out one. So I may have to play with this for a little while because I'm not sure. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I have to go and see. All right. So if we need to move the mesh, we're gonna have to do it from the other side. Top. I, I think we're going to be stuck with this where it's at. I don't think we can really move it. All right, we're going to we're gonna do a full test fit. Tighten everything down. Double check the mesh because I can't, uh, because of the size of this pinion, I can't really move it. It's not giving me a whole lot of options to move, so... Not 
All right, so I tightened it all the way down this time. Let's get it in here. Let's put the top part on. Kind of locks it in place, and then we'll see how that is. I feel like that's really tight. And there's definitely a little bit of play there. Not as much as I normally would like. Especially once... Yeah, there's no play in that. Alright, that's going to be a problem. So I know on like bashers and like short course trucks and speed runs, I mean, you definitely want some play. There's a little bit, but not much. There we go. Next. Cancel. Alright, so, alright, Raymond, you gotta think this through. Um, like the positioning, the wires look like they're in a good spot. Actually, I might be able to go up straight up and down with them. Hmm. This is gonna take some playing with, guys. This is gonna take some playing with. Hand is always in my way. So we know we can't move C. Well, I guess we could move. I guess we can move it to A. I wonder if I should get the manual out and see exactly. We moved it to D and we moved it one over on the top. Get this meshes a little better. I, uh... All right, see if the mesh is better this time. No, it's not even close. Now it's completely off. Oh, no, that looks like it. Okay, yeah, that... That looks a little better. Even that might be a little too much. So if you want to go away... Push this one. Right, I might change the entire positioning of this screw. I guess I could look in the manual. I don't I don't have the manual for this, but I guess I could look at the manual online. Probably tells you exactly where to put it. But I'm gonna just sit here and play with it. Oh come on. Install these wires. Oh wait, it doesn't even hit at all now. That's not gonna work. Alright, that's definitely not gonna work. Much of a move.
mighty it. Let me, uh... See, it's hard to tell because it doesn't sit straight up and down without the top piece on it. The weight of this motor is kind of holding it back. I mean, it looks, that looks like it might. <sighs> it sucks because once I put this piece on, I can't see the mesh. It disappears. That's probably dead on right there. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Pretty much right there. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, this is perfect. All right. Go ahead and put some Loctite on these, tighten them down. A little blue Loctite goes a long way. Dab, dab on there, not much, just a tiny bit. Tab of Loctite. Alright, so we got that Loctite in. Good to go. I had to solder the wires. I should probably do that before I run down everything. But can't solder up here. I gotta take it downstairs to do that. And I gotta get my wife to help me, so we're not gonna do that on camera. Maybe one day, but all right. So we got that. It's all all right, camera. I'm so used to the camera being in front of me. I got that all squared away. So we had to move it one position on the top and lower screw. So it's in D, and then we moved one down in the top, and that looks like it meshes perfect. So. Alright, so we'll do that. Throw this on here. Alright, cool. Alright, let's start putting this back together. These three screws. I am not going to lock. No, I'm not going to lock tight these because I don't want these to become a pain in the ass to get out. Pain in the butt. I got to learn to stop cussing. I don't know why I cuss so much. Not used to streaming and recording videos, so in real life I cuss like a pirate. But when it comes time to monetize videos, I heard cursing kind of goes against you. So we gotta learn to cut it back. Wait a minute. An idiot. Make sure they're all the same length. I need to magnetize this again. I don't have a magnet up here. It's down in the garage. I keep all my stuff outside in the garage. And at this house, the garage is an entirely separate building. So, I've only been in this house for, I guess, for about two years this month. Um, really old house. We've been doing a lot of work. Anybody that follows me on Instagram knows that we've been putting a ton of money into this place. Um, it's been a real nightmare actually um especially because of covid and stuff money's kind of tight right now but i had to do a new ac system last month and new garage doors and i think that together was like 
I don't know, 16 grand or something. Apparently, this is a great motor for this uh, six by six, especially once it's heavy like this. Is because when they, <clears throat> when you just engine brake it going downhill, it uh, it has a lot of it tries to push the other direction of the motor spinning, so it, it it'll literally just stall. Like so, you can stop and it won't keep rolling. Kind of one of the things that sold me on this motor. Um, I was looking at this or a castle, one of the castle crawler motors, I can't remember which one it was. New to the hobby, so I don't really get into all, too much of the specs. I still quite don't understand. Like, I know what the KV is, I know what it means, but I really still don't know what's better for what kind of truck. Like, I got in my Creighton 6S, I got an 8S ESC with a 16 16 no 17 17 castle 1650 kv motor which is a beast of a motor all right so now we got these get out of there and we have the sensor motor i wonder man i wonder if that's gonna reach i'm gonna be close all right, let's crack this bad boy open. So this is the 60 amp. Hopefully this is enough for this. I, I may have to go up to like 160 amp. I don't know. I, I, you know, I'm not looking for speed in this thing. I really just want it for crawling. So I have seen some pretty cool speed runs. Um, there's two guys on YouTube that had like a contest this month to see who get it the fastest. One of the guys put like drag wheels and arrow stuff on this thing and got it up to like 65 miles an hour, which is pretty impressive for a 6x6. Six six. Um, the other guy, he got pretty close to that, but he crashed. He was dealing with a lot of damage on his truck. I'm hoping this motor, this ESC comes with a fan on top of it. It looked like it did in some of the pictures. It did. In some of the pictures, it didn't. User manual, we don't need that right now. Ah, oh, what kind of connector is that? That is a tiny connector. What is that? Oh, cool. It came with some heat shrink tubing and everything for this. Um, man, this is definitely going to need some. Uh, how is this going to mount? Those mo looks like all the wires are going to be long enough, so that's a good thing. Not quite sure how this is going to mount. Like this fan wire is definitely not gonna reach. I do have some fan wire extensions downstairs, but I don't even know what that fan wire is gonna go to. Uh, there's an extra one in there. Um, man, okay. Definitely gonna have to double side tape this thing. I don't see how it's gonna mount. What do you think, guys? How should I mount this? I mean, I, I, know, I know how I'm going to mount it, but what, exactly what position should I mount it in? Then the question is, do you just mount it up here? Get it out of the way. I'm going to have to think about this for a second, guys. Coffee's cold already. Yuck. I'm not a fan of his coffee. 
So normally it mounts right here. I mean, obviously y'all saw me take it apart. But I gotta figure out how I'm gonna hook these lights up. Alright guys, I'm just looking at the different connections, the different channels. Two channel ones, two channel twos. RPM VT. What is VT? Alright, we'll do that in a second. I gotta watch because we're gonna need to be able to get this screw out. I think like that's gonna be how it goes. And this wire's hanging out, so that's not gonna work. Oh, that is, so that's not gonna work. Because that wire can't hang out like that. I won't be able to get the body on. That's gonna cover that screw. We may have a problem here, guys. I don't think this is gonna be able to mount here. I think we are gonna have to mount it up here. Just, yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna have to. So if we mount up here, let's see how it does this. Well, that'll work, I mean, because we can go, we can mount it just like this. Can mount the power button to that. We can solder together. Battery wire should still reach. And wire. Then if we're gonna do that, we need to peel this. This guy that I bought this phone put, uh, this carbon fiber wrap on this part up here which I'm not sure why which is weird because you got a real carbon fiber battery mount or battery hold down but then he went with a carbon fiber wrap up here Ooh. We'll peel this wrap off. Clean this thing off real good. Down our ESC. Yeah, that's just a piece of plastic. Oh, well, you know what? This is, this, this is, I think this may be made for mounting an ESC because it has slots in it for a zip tie. So this should be good. This stuff is crispy. I may have to go get Gooby going to get this all off. It's so so like stale and hard just snapping as I peel it what is this sticker or a wrap I got some of this carbon fiber stuff over there that I use for my computer parts <clears throat> mainly for the center of the fans to make the center of the fans look better 
Yeah, this is definitely for mounting an ESC. Sorry guys, I can't see this. Need to get some new front tires. The front tires, the Traxxas ones are so soft, the extra weight, they look flat. Now I know you're supposed to kind of have them like that for off-road, but I think they're a little too flat. Shit does not want to come off. So sitting here peeling stuff off for the next half an hour. piece right here. Oh, no. Maybe I don't get the double sided tape. I have zip ties, so I'll zip tie it down. I don't think I got most of that on. One little piece right here does not want to come off. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks like an ESC mount to me. I don't know about you guys. That looks like an ESC mount. Perfect. This is where we're going to put it. Wires up there like that. That. That'll work. Alright, so. We need. I need these zip ties. Where did I stick them? Oh, lose them already. Boom. Ah, oh, there we are. They, of course, are not big enough. No. All right, guys, let me go grab some. Oh, no, it's right here. Double side tape. Ha. This tape right here will hold anything down. This is VHB, uh, very high bond 3M tape. It sticks to anything. Let's let's cut this off. Scissors are sharp. This tape is hard to cut. I, they're all gooed up from cutting this tape over and over again. Put this tape on all kinds of stuff. I use this tape. This tape holds the wing on my car down. On the back of the AMG. Pretty sure all that holds it on is double side tape. 
I haven't got an update on the car yet. Last I heard, they were installing a bleeder valve on the intercooler. And I'm supposed to hear from them Tuesday on whether or not we're going to go with the 900 wheel horsepower package or not. I don't know. Money's kind of tight right now, so I don't know if I'm going to do it. It'll probably be good for the channel, but sometimes real life doesn't care about the channel. Clean, so I'm not going to worry about cleaning it. One hand crap trying to get all these wires out of the way. So that's actually we're not gonna melt this down yet. Um well, if that's where we're putting it. Let's see. Yeah. I'm gonna have to figure out how to hook that up. I don't even know what that goes to. Alright. So I need to run anything back under here. This can go back on. Actually, you know what we should do? Hold on. Before we put this back on, I have a servo and a servo mount. Go. There. Wow. Yeah, that's not gonna be any fun. All right, we're not doing that right now. That's gonna be a lot more work. And I only got a little while longer to stream, and I gotta hop off for a little while. Probably get back on and stream Flight Simulator tonight. Um, but I gotta go eat dinner, spend some time with the kids. They just finished school, they're doing homeschool right now. Damn, the county refuses to open the schools here. And their online classes are terrible, so basically, their education is on hold. is starting to bother me when I do everything with my left hand when I overwork it a lot I start getting like carpal tunnel All right. All right guys let's see where we're at I need to figure out how to raise this up so I can get a 3s battery in here because right now I can only get 2s batteries I heard for crawling 2s is better because it's not as jerky but uh still want to be able to if I want to get a 3s in here and I thought just by flipping this I would be able to but it doesn't work all right let's see where was I that in we're not gonna have to put that in but we should put those screws back in One really long screw. I can't remember where it came out of. See, that's how long it took me to forget where one of the screws came out of. I guess I could go back and watch this video and find out though. I 
one super long screw. Alright guys, y'all been watching since the beginning. Where's the long silver screw go? It has something to do with this battery charger. One of the problems with my accident is my short term memory is garbage. Toes itches. Alright, let's see. And then. Mount that? Oh, no, because we've got to put a zip tie through this. We don't want to mount that yet. Um. Screw the solder. This is going to sit like this. Then we have to wire this. So we need to get the servo wire. Not the servo wire, the ESC wire to the receiver. Um, looks like it can go through here. Through here. Down here. Let's go ahead and maybe clip this in the same place this is clipped. Fit. It'll fit. I'm just trying to feed the wire through these little clips, hold the wire in place. It's got this really thick servo wire in it right now, though, so it's going to be problematic to try to get this wire into. But we're going to do it. Wiggle it a little bit. Going in, but it's not staying. Maybe. Maybe we can put this wire in first. This wire is a lot smaller than that wire. Also, this thing moved. Oh, crap. It's moving because. I took the screw out of it. Let's see which way this goes. This way. Ah, uh, this is gonna be one of those things. It's gonna be a pain to do one-handed. Where that patience comes in, you just gotta keep trying until you get it. Let's try a different route. Let's, let's put this side in first. Yeah, that worked much better. Slot. Oh, no! I wonder if it's better to mount this first. Make my life a little easier. As soon as I let go of this, it's just going to keep falling out. Yeah, as soon as I let go of it, it falls out. Alright, let's go. Don't need this back off, so let's mount all this back down. Falling off. Put this tray back down. We didn't put uh, we didn't put Loctite on the pinion gear. Uh, it's gonna come back to bite me in the ass. I know it is. 
We're not gonna worry about it for right now. Let's go back in there another day. It slides off, put some Loctite on it. I put it on pretty tight, so. Crush my keyboard. Tighten it. It's not yet. I make a mess on my damn keyboard. All right. Might need to be a little bit tighter. It's good for now. This is gonna be fun. The way that piece goes in is odd. Through that into this. Just might fall as soon as I try to turn it. Oh, yep, there it goes. This is gonna be a fun piece to do one handed. Let's see. That. working against myself here. Another one of those things where that one-handed patience comes in because you gotta keep trying until you get it. My wife always offers to help, but I always tell her that I'd rather do it a bunch of times first one-handed and realize that I absolutely need help because one day she may not be there when I need to do something. Alright. Alright, we gotta do this a different way. This isn't working. I'm gonna have to mount this first. Let me mount this up because this thing keeps falling off and getting in the way. Just need to put one screw in.
frustrations are mounting. Craziest thing is, is I was never a very patient guy to begin with. So, <laughs> to deal with this. Um, really irritates me. Need a way to hold it while I'm screwing it. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do this in one hand. It's just gonna keep falling off. Maybe if I stick that screw. Come on, had it started, just enough and it popped off. There, I think I got it. Ha, got it. Okay. This takes patience. All right, now that can't go anywhere, so it should make doing this next part a lot easier. What do I do with my tool? Where do I stick my tool? Oh, found it. Think I got it. Got it. See, just takes a couple trials. Alright, lost his back on. Maybe we should start these screws so this doesn't fall off every time we move it around. My wife's going to hate me when I tell her we have soldering to do tonight. She hates it. I always splatter solder on her. And I can't blame her because it burns. We are going to zip tie this down too. Um, but for the sake of stuff not constantly falling off, we're going to go ahead and Do that. See the skin hanging off my finger. Mm, hear my dog barking at somebody.
Oh, I didn't even think about that. I just remagnetized this by touching that magnet right there. Alright. Alright, so that's good for now. Let's run this wire through there. Plug it in there. Alright. Not very good. It's not sitting flat. It's weird. Sitting the way I want it. There it goes. This one. I have to do some zip ties in here. I'm gonna have to do some zip ties. This one. I have to go. This one may have to just get zip tied on because it's too big now. I think to fit in here. Yeah, it is. All right, so we'll zip tie that later. All right. So. Come on, gasket. Gasket back in place. Got all my... Got all my uh, I got all my RC cars switched over to IC5 connectors now. So um, next time we go out, we're gonna take the Traxxas with us, or not the Traxxas, the Techno, the SC. Uh, I haven't ran the short core truck in about four years. It's got a Tekken RX8 ESC and uh, uh, the Tekken 4400 KV Pro HD4 motor. Um, and I've literally only run it once since I put that motor on because as soon as I did that my friend stopped doing it, his car So I hadn't gone back to the track. I ran it one time in my yard It'll be nice to get it out and run it this one too all right i think i need to order new running guards the chrome is kind of faded on these and maybe new, two new exhaust pipes i think i can get both for like 10 bucks so Just wiring. Down in there like that. This wire's gonna go fuck down there with it. Should go on this. Just gonna rock light wire under the rock light. Keep it flat up against this. Under this, under that, boom, done. Now we gotta get, now we gotta get the connector back through. Um, I think right there is gonna be the easiest spot. Then we are in. All right, need the pliers. Where the pliers go? What do I do with my multi tool? Oh, I'm gonna stick it there. Right there. 
That is not going to be able to get through right there. It's not going to be long enough. Let's turn on this other side. So I'm going to try to do live streams from now on when I wrench on the RCs. See if people like them. People like them and comment on them and stuff. We'll keep doing them. God, I hate the fact that this guy greased this up. I mean, I know, I know why he did it. It's just really hard to work with him. It's just covered in grease. Positive Michigan. That's great. Hmm. Yes. I can't remember. It's been so long, I can't remember Trax's wiring, which one's positive, which one's negative. Sure. Sorry, I'm talking to myself now. Um, I'm gonna have to Google this because I can't remember. Give me one sec, guys. I need to wake up here, though. Ah. Uh, stream it at the walk the camera's pointing that way. <laughs> uh hold on hold on, just hold on one second guys. Well that's fine. I can kill I can kill them. okay, never mind. All right, let's see, wiring diagram. I wanna say black is ground, I could be wrong. Black goes towards alpha, no, that doesn't. One of y'all could comment if you know on Traxxas is the white positive or the black. Really, is this gonna be that hard to fucking find? I just need to know what color. Axis receiver plug.
Jesus Christ, really? I can't believe this is that hard to find on Google. It doesn't say which color is which. I can go look on my other cars. That that's not that way. Try this either. I can't believe I don't remember what color. Damn guys, I don't have much luck here. This is positive goes towards the outside. Is that way? All right. Yep. Figured it out. Never mind. I'm retarded. Had it right to begin with. All right, that's in. All right. Yeah. Well, we need to be. Alright guys, so we got everything wired up. Let's see. Come on. It's out of the way, got the gasket. Gaskets in place, wooden stick, it's back on. I 
Alright. Yeah. We're missing the Ah, we're missing the squirrel. Why are we missing the squirrel? Of course we're missing the squirrel. Alright, I'll find it later. Here, it must have rolled somewhere. Got a whole bunch of extras downstairs with that one. Is it not? Not to be found. It's not gonna be that. This. All right, I'm not gonna regrease this to be waterproof right now because I may have to come back off. But for now, we're just gonna get everything in place. And then once we get this all set up, I'll get it soldered up tonight. Um, we'll shoot a video with it tomorrow, and the video will go up on the channel hopefully on Sunday. Um, we got a bashing video coming uh, from. We have a bashing video coming from a skate park, but it's been raining again. I, I swear, since the beginning of August, it rains every night. It's like we live in Florida or something. How do you get a big one down? I don't know why this guy put this big servo in here. And it's the servo wire is massive. It's one of the reasons this probably isn't as waterproof as it used to be. I don't know if it'll go down in there all the way. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's like it has trouble sitting down in there. Hmm. I'm just gonna tighten it up for now. Not exactly sitting how I want it, but. I'm not a big fan of that that fancy looking cable uh, sleeve. It's uh takes up too much room. Like it's it won't sit down in the little groove like it's supposed to. It's definitely not going to be waterproof. That's that. All sitting down in where they're supposed to be. It's at the end too. Yeah, I'm gonna find a spot. Alright guys, I'm fighting with this right now. I think I'm just gonna put this on. Oh man, these 3090s are coming out soon. For the first time in like five years, I'm gonna take a loss on my graphics cards because usually I upgrade to the newest ones and eBay my old ones for pretty much about what I paid for them. Not this time around. The 3070 tanked the price of the 2080 Ti's.
Tell this is gonna be a pain to do. This is going to be a pain. One handed. I can't even press down. Again. I can't press down on it. Oh, I'm putting it in. See, it, the, the whole thing that's keeping this up so it won't go in is this this stupid sleeved cable. I'm gonna I'm gonna rip. I can already see it now. I'm gonna rip this sleeve cable off. Um, let's see, it's red wire over one. Oh, it's an outside bar connect somebody. So we move the red cable over one to see if this cable will go down any farther. Just, it's just too big with the sleeve on it. Stop it. It's making it so it's not sealing tight. Other problem is this is an aluminum screw. So the magnet is not working. Oh, the life of a man with one hand. <clears throat> this is not even lining. This one's not lining up either. Watch on this floor. Alright, got that one started. Let's see if we can't get this other one started. I think it's lined up. It's really hard to get it down in there. It's weird, but working on big cars is actually easier because you're dealing with bigger bolts and stuff. You know, these little tiny bolts with one hand? That's what works. You see me when I'm working on big cars, I use my feet to hold stuff while I'm screwing stuff in. All right, we got it in there. So I'm still having a problem with the light bar on this not lighting up. So I got to figure that out. Um, there we go. Um, I got to figure out what I'm going to do with this and how that was wired in. I'm not sure. And is it just, it is, it's just tapped on to the positive and the negative battery feed but 
I'm gonna have to get some extenders. I'm gonna have to cut this off. Got some wire I can use. Cut this off and uh, wire it straight to the battery terminals. That'd be interesting. Anyway, probably put this up on eBay. I'm not going to do anything with this thing. This and this Tekken 45 brushed motor will probably go up on eBay. Um, this looks good though. Let me show you guys what we got. So we got, she's, she's all squared away. We got the bigger motor that barely fits in there. And then of course we move the uh, seat right there. Actually, we don't need this here anymore. All right, so we got that all done. Um, God, my hand's filthy. Wait, my hand. The white tea I had on earlier when I was outside working. All right, so we got this all squared away. Um, we'll get the wires soldered up. We'll get these soldered onto the ESC. Um, of course, we're gonna have to run this wire over to that, and then we'll get this outside and give it a good run. So that'll be on a later video. Um, let's throw this up here real quick. This is the body I have for it. Of course, it's the AMG. I like AMGs. That's one of the reasons I picked this. I also, I saw that for, <clears throat> saw that for crawling, it had a terrible turning radius. Um, but other than that, I was watching it kill other trucks going up hills and stuff. So it seems to perform pretty well. The guy definitely put some details in it. He's got the limb crawlers. It's got this nice metal roof rack. This light bar, it's, let's see if I can show you. It's wired in up there. There's like a little tiny circuit board. It's not working. It comes up real dim and I'm not sure why and I'm not sure how to fix it. So I'll have to figure that out at a later time. Um, all the other lights work perfect, so I'm not sure. I'm hoping the stronger ESC with higher voltage may help, but I don't know. I'm still kind of new to all this so we'll uh we'll get this all soldered together um zip tie that in wire up the fan somehow i'm not sure so i gotta get an extension for that and uh hopefully i'll get to make a video with it tomorrow and show you guys how good this motor works in this and then i'm gonna come back on live stream later tonight and do uh light sim as soon as i figure out how to get this wired up and then of course we have, with that, we have the yoke and the throttle control. The rudder pedals will be here hopefully the next day or two. Um, I'm, they were supposed to be here today. I'm not sure why they're not here. Um, and cool. Like, yeah, I guess if you guys know anything about... Oh, Jesus, so heavy. The, I can't see them. The, the brass on the bottom of this... Like, should I remove some of it? I mean, this thing is really heavy. Like, somebody put some serious weight. Then the other thing is, is I need some aftermarket shocks. So if anyone knows some good aftermarket shocks, um, let me know because the shock on this side sticks. Well, it's not gonna do it now because the truck's in the ASC. It kind of, kind of sticks. So I'm gonna take it apart and see if it needs some oil or something. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow on live stream. That's it for that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll come on later and do some live streaming of Play Sim, maybe some Call of Duty. And I guess that's going to be it, guys. So I'll catch you all in the next video.